Hi everybody, it's Gigi of Gigi It's Celebrities. However, I am in a different room today because this I am designating as the room for my healthy food faker videos. That's right guys, we are doing another healthy food faker video today. However, I'm not gonna be talking about three healthy food fakers. I'm only gonna be talking about one because I realize I get very long-winded, thus make those videos really, really long. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you guys are like, oh my God, this is exhausting after watching three minutes of it. So we are gonna jump right into this video right now because once again, I'm starting to get long-winded. <laughs> All right guys, we are talking about veggie burgers today. How many of you love veggie burgers? This girl personally has never eaten a veggie burger before in her entire life, and here's why. You'd think because vegetable is in the title of these veggie burgers name that they'd be healthy because, uh, guys, vegetables. Even the most nutritionally uneducated person on the face of the planet knows that vegetables are healthy. That being said, vegetables in their natural state are healthy. However, if you listen to the title of this food, veggie burgers, you realize, yeah, vegetables don't come in burger form, so clearly that's not a natural thing. And you're right, veggie burgers are not natural. They're completely processed garbage or at least most of them are. Yeah, they're processed to look like, hmm, meat, envious much. And the way they look like meat is because they're bound together with so many fillers that don't do anything beneficial for your health. Now one filler often found in veggie burgers, processed soy. Now I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but veggie burgers that are typically made with processed soy are typically made of compounds that are both harmful for you and the planet. So if you think you're going vegetarian to save this orb we live in, yeah, think again. Hexane is the problem here. Hexane, which can be found in a lot of veggie burgers, is actually a byproduct of gasoline refining that's used to separate whole soybeans into oil, protein, and fiber. That's right, guys, I said gasoline. And guess what? Hexane contributes to excess ozone. Thus, the EPA has actually deemed it as a hazardous air pollutant. Are you freaking kidding me? And according to the EPA, grain processors that are, include soy in their facilities, yeah, they're responsible for more than two thirds of the hexane emissions in the United States. And you thought you were doing something good for the environment. That beef burger, hmm, looking pretty tasty now, isn't it? Oh, and it gets so much worse, everybody, just in case you were wondering. While it is assumed that hexane just evaporates into the air, it doesn't, as soy products have been tested, and guess what? Hexane is present. While it's totally unknown as to what the health repercussions are for ingesting hexane, symptoms of just being around large amounts of hexane include eye irritation, upper respiratory tract irritation, headaches, nerve problems, and vertigo. Anyone want a numb hand? You wouldn't be able to pick up your veggie burger to eat it. On top of this outstanding news, because as you can see, I'm just so excited about this. No, guys, this is me so pissed off, but I'm containing it by smiling when I talk. <laughs> But no, seriously, on top of this, soy these days actually contains something called phytoestrogens. And these phytoestrogens are estrogen mimickers in the body. Guys, are you looking to uh, sprout some boobs? Because as crazy as that might sound, if you consume enough phytoestrogens, yeah, they may in fact give you some female characteristics. Now I'm not saying you're gonna grow a vagina here, but as I said earlier, do you want some lady friends in your life that are on your own body versus somebody else's? And speaking of the ladies, ladies, if you're consuming foods that increase estrogen levels, well, they're gonna increase your risk of breast cancer, cervical cancer, and other hormone imbalance related disorders. I mean, we already have to deal with hormones, why do you wanna make it worse? I know this pregnant girl right here is going crazy because of these hormones, so I would not ingest processed soy right now, or ever for that matter. Also, soy is one of the top crops that's genetically modified. And genetically modified food has been linked to killing off good bacteria in your gut. Thus, it damages your digestive system. And let me just remind you, your digestive system basically dictates how you feel on a daily basis. So really, if you wanna chow down on veggie burgers, 
Okay, that's fine. However, find some that do not have any soy in them. None. And yes, guys, textured vegetable protein, that's another name for soy. Now, soy is not the only problem with veggie burgers, and I see this as being a very long video. Good thing I'm only talking about one food today. <laughs> as mentioned earlier, veggie burgers are highly processed, and with processing comes sodium. Now, I'm not gonna say salt is bad for you. However, processed foods contain excess salt that can truly strain your kidneys. And if you have high blood pressure, yeah, you're not doing yourself any good by eating processed veggie burgers. Even if you don't have said issues, you're not doing yourself any good by ingesting these meat wannabes. Speaking of wannabes, something called hem iron is added to a lot of these burgers, like that impossible burger that you guys have probably heard about 15 gajillion times at this point, because it creates a beefy taste and appearance. But since these burgers are vegetarian and or vegan, they're not actually putting animal hem iron in the product. And by the way, animal hem iron, yeah, that's easily absorbed into the body, thus being very helpful in warding off something like anemia, for instance. Instead, these plant-based burgers contain a plant source of hem iron that's identical to the stuff in red meat. However, in excess, guess what happens? Cell damage. So ironically, if you're trying to avoid meat because of, I wanna say bogus health claims because yeah, they're bogus. It looks like these meatless burgers pose a similar concern thanks to the hem iron that's added as this plant-based hem iron has been linked to cancer. P.S. The reason why I said I think those health claims are bogus is because animals solely foraging on grass their entire lives are far superior to the crappy meat that's grain fed and finished. And those cows are the only ones that have studies done on them to determine whether or not they're good for your heart and all that kind of stuff. This all being said, and now you might be terrified of veggie burgers, I have to let you know that there are healthier options out there. So if you wanna stay vegetarian or if you wanna stay vegan because it makes you feel better, well, don't worry. There are options out there that I'm going to recommend for you. First off, you have to make sure that these veggie burgers are organic. Organic means that they will not have any hexane in them because organic farmers are not allowed to use it. There are two brands out there that I found, Helen's Kitchen and Wildwood. So go check those ones out at your local grocery store. Also, Boca Burgers, that really popular line of veggie burgers, they have two varieties, but you have to make sure they're made with organic soy. Or better yet, avoid soy in general. And find burgers that are made with whole grains such as millet and quinoa, lots and lots of beans and veggies, of course, because I mean, they are called veggie burgers after all. Hillary's veggie burgers are a great choice. And the reason why is because they contain all of those things and they're also gluten and sugar-free. Yep, I actually said it. I recommended a veggie burger. I just saw pigs fly. <laughs> but seriously though, my advice when it comes to veggie burgers, read the ingredients label. But then again, that's my advice for every single packaged food out there. And my other piece of advice when it comes to veggie burgers, do not order them when you go out to eat because they're most likely the crappiest version on the market containing all of the ingredients I literally just exhausted you with. So there you have it, everybody. That was my tirade about veggie burgers. I do wanna know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you eat veggie burgers? What are your favorites? What are your thoughts on the whole eating veggie burgers versus regular meat? And also, let me know what your favorite burger topping is. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and also tell me in the comments below what other foods you would like me to debunk because that is what I am here for. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.